hello and welcome to another video so i been coming back to you guys with these little sit down chats quite frequently here this this past week um and trust me it's not intentional they're not playing i don't have any notes for this i want to sit down and have like a conversation with you so um yeah i had plans you guys know school is about to start back um i had plans to uh begin school with my daughter here in the home at the beginning of august um i was like you know what i'm gonna wait until this time i'll have everything together you know i'll just feel better about a lot of other things going on and then i'll start then i'll push that off and i had not been feeling too well like just girl just tired just annoyed just a little tired just a little just a little too relaxed and so relaxed um so relaxed it's almost uncomfortable like girl you know you got stuff to do what are you doing chilling so much i'm not saying that you t shouldn't take rest i absolutely think that you should rest but resting when you know that you have stuff to do is a sticky sticky place to be in okay so yesterday i said you know what i am going to proceed um <laughs> The message was override and i knew that as sure as the lord told me that the message was going to be override there was going to be a lot going on in this month that i was going to have to kind of push past override to uh it don't matter girl you tired you need to get up you said you was going to go walk you need to get up and go walk you said you wasn't going to be eating not like that uh why you ain't cooking you said if you had the food if you had the money to get the food okay and you got the food you were prepared the meals why you ain't preparing why are you spending your money on fast food you said you would do these things and then i've given you the resources to do these things where you at where are you where are you with your side of the deal and then i come to you today to tell you girl get up get up nobody's coming to rescue you i know that's that is harsh that's so mean nobody's coming to save you there's no man coming on a white horse to save you okay no one's coming to say your mama is not gonna come save you no one's coming to save you there very well might be people in your life helping you to get things done helping you to watch your children maybe even helping you financially but best believe these people are not here to save you you need to get up and say god what is it that i need to do to become better and begin to do those things you need to save yourself You've got to save yourself. Stop leaning on people, being so dependent on what someone else can do for you that you can't get, you can't garner the strength yourself. That's a dangerous place to be. When I always need somebody else to pray for me, when I always need someone else to encourage me, and I no longer can wake up in the morning and that be encouragement enough for me to get done the thing that God said to do. And I know you're thinking like, whoa, I don't have a business plan. You know, I don't have anything like extravagant that I need to get done. I just mentioned something at the beginning when I started talking. You said that if you had the money for the food, you start cooking the meals. You said if you had more time, you would want to spend it with your children. You said that. You said that if you got a better job, that you would be more excited, that you would show up, that you would be the light, that you would bring joy into the room. You said that. When you lost your last job, you said that you would do better when you got this new one. Where are you with your side of the bargain? You said last time that if somebody was going to help you clean up your house, this one time, they were going to help you. You were going to get out of this depression and you were never going to go back again. Yet you sit there on the couch back again. You're back again. And maybe you're not fully in the mess that you were in before. But but look at it. Look at your life. You're taking the same steps to get you right back in the same situation. Crying the same old thing. Praying the same old prayer. And God has created a window of opportunity for you to get better. And you won't override. You won't override. You don't believe anymore. But God sent here, me here. God sent me here to tell you get up girl get up get up if it is you need to get a broom in your hand and start sweeping the floor if you need to pick up those clothes from off of the floor and put them in the washing machine you need to get up if you need to take a look at your finances and say where am i spending too much money girl get up spend time with those children girl get up pray girl get up 
And trust me, I love my sleep. I love my sleep. I love my sleep. But if I do, I love my sleep more than I love the presence of God is the new question that I'm asking myself. Because I say, you know what? I just need the time. I need the quiet. I need the stillness to be able to seek you. And then God gives it to me. And when I get the time, you know what I'm doing? I'm sleeping. Something's wrong. What happened to my end of the bargain? What happened to your end of the bargain? Girl, get up. Get up, set some routines in place so that you can get your tail up and stick to them. Stop always looking and waiting for the next person to come in and save you. Save yourself, girl, get up. Get up. Being depressed and being anxious is not enough to keep you down and take it from me. You better override that. You better override that bull crap. You better begin to wake up early in the morning and seek the Lord and say, God, what, what scripture, what words do I need to say? What thought do I need to have today to override this anxiety, to override this depression that so easily takes me back to the place that I said I wasn't going back no more? You need to override it. And stop looking for other people to get you these answers. God said, I've been calling you. I'm trying to spend more time with you. I've been waiting for you to desire to get to know me a little bit better. I've given you everything that you wanted. You can see now that everything what you wanted still doesn't replace me. And you're still searching for other things and you have yet to come back to your first love, which was me. And some people, your first love wasn't God. Your first love was something else. God's saying, you know, I've been waiting for you to try me. You tried everything else. You tried everyone else. But like I said in that last video, you're still stuck on this mindset of, well, they this this to me, and they claim that they know God. God said, I've been telling you to try me. Try me like you tried them crystals. Try me like you searching out for a prophet and a pastor. Try me like that. Try me like you're looking for a man and you're looking for this and looking. Try me like that. Wake up in the morning and try me like that. Stay up late and try me like that. Every day of the week, try me like that. And trust me, when you're seeking, you're going to find. When you're seeking, you're going to find. And then you'll be able to say for yourself, I've tasted and I've seen, my God, that the Lord surely is good. And nothing else can replace it. But that's going to begin. Get up. Get up. I'm calling you to get up. You need to set, set a plan in motion and get to working that plan. And don't set it. Don't be like me and say, you know what? I'm going to start August 1st. And then God wakes you up tomorrow. No, you can start tomorrow. You can start today. Look around. Just, just do that. Do this simple thing. Take yourself, get yourself a little piece of paper, a little notebook. Get yourself a little notebook. Um, I actually told you guys this at the top of the year. Uh, get yourself a notebook. Begin to write the things down. Look around in your house. What needs to be done? Do it. What needs to be clean? Clean it. And then, you know, you say, you know what? Girl, my house is clean. Clean my house all the time. Okay, let's move to the next place. Let's take inventory of our relationships. Who needs what in those relationships? Do some of those relationships need to be canceled? How do you move forward in this process? Take a look at your habits. Which of these habits need to be canceled? Which of these habits do I actually need to do? Do I need to get in here and do some sit-ups and do some push-ups? Do I need to take a walk around the block? I'm not, telling you to, I'm not telling you to do anything that's outside of you. Take a look at you. Take an inventory of your life and get your tail up. It's imperative in this season. I, I told you once. I told you twice. I told you three times. It's imperative. Okay? As always, if you have a question, ask a question. And I'll see you in another video, girl. Hopefully it's not tomorrow. But if it's tomorrow, girl, it's tomorrow. Get your tail up.